What is up, everybody? It's the Bearded Man coming to you again with another video. This is going to be a review for the Battlefield 1 official reveal trailer. Make sure you stick to it to the end to hear the full review. And then comment down below with what your opinion is of this trailer. First thing I want to do is I want to play it for a little bit here to show you something that I want to make my point across. That right there. All right. Well, with what we just saw there, this is obviously going to be very brutal. And this is something that I exceedingly wanted in any type of war game. I really do. This is game engine footage, by the way. But the thing that I want is I want to see brutal battles like this. Because <clears throat> most war games, nowadays anyway, tends to just be a shoot 'em up type thing. But you gotta see, if you go into Battlefield, they try to depict the brutality of war. This this is fitting for the time period that this is in. This is World War One, from what I've seen. And World War One, for anyone who doesn't know, if you don't know history that well or anything like that, World War One was one of the most bloody and brutal brutal wars that there was ever to be that we've ever had basically why I say this is just due to the astonishing death tolls the massive amounts of people who died from horrible horrible means but all put into a game so that everybody who plays it can have fun with it as you can see from this little brutal scene here, he uses some sort of mace that is a cudgel beating another soldier to death in no man's land. No man's land is a common term for an area where it's just a killing field for people. Moving on from that, we see a desert. And first, I want to say another thing. This looks beautiful just looks beautiful like gorgeous if this is actual in-game footage this looks gorgeous that's not even a lie that's just awesome but a few things I want to say over this it adds a few different things to the concept like first off are we gonna be able to ride on horseback I wanna know that second off can I get the sword that this guy has and also is there gonna be substantial battles in the desert Moving on, you can see some interesting little uh, face tattoos, I believe is what it would be. I don't know if that actually has any meaning or if this is an actual character from the campaign. I'm not sure, but it looks interesting. Looks like someone who is actually from the campaign because they show him or her. I don't know if it's a him or her, but I'm assuming it's a him uh, in, the camp in this little trailer quite a bit. Then we move on to this. The dog fights. Oh, that's going to be so cool because this adds a new concept to it because it will be really hard to actually shoot down another plane without having someone else in the plane with you. Uh, because in any other Battlefield game, if you've played them, uh, you got the planes, you could shoot down other planes pretty easily by yourself in a dog fight. But in this one, this wouldn't be so easy due to just, if they do it properly anyway just due to the designs of the old planes this would be a lot more difficult to do but again let's just look at that scenery I cannot get over the scenery that looks like a battlefield a brutal brutal place that's just destroying everything in its way just everything's fire everything's fighting just tons of death and destruction throughout that entire no man's land area that's what that looks like to me Moving on from that, we get into some of the warfare, and as we can see right here, this guy is swinging, or getting ready to swing into this soldier. Uh, this is the same character, I believe. 
And this is, yes, I captured that at a perfect moment. First off, we get to see a few different things here. We see shotgun, which was assumed to be, that was just going to be in there anyway. But the thing I really liked that they did was they incorporated the trench shovel. The trench shovel was interesting because uh, they were still readily available. Uh, if I get my, if I remember my history correctly, they used to sharpen the edge of these, sharpen the edge to make it so it's serrated or at least bladed, and use them as a melee weapon, as you can see in this still frame here. Look at that shovel. I want it. Moving on from that, we see the Red Baron, possibly, or a skin for the Red Baron. Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Moving on from that. Got the tank. Oh, yeah, this part. Mmm, this part right here. I really like to see this, because this, back in World War One, we didn't have any sanctions on warfare. So you could use, basically, anything you wanted. But after World War One, they came up with, I believe, the Geneva Convention or something. I can't remember what it is. But they came up with some type of thing to sanction warfare. So you couldn't use gas-based weapons like mustard gas, which is what I'm assuming that is right there. Because, as we can see, boom! You see him put that little gas mask on right there. Also, this just looks so cool right here. We have this guy just sitting here in this, like, full battle suit. Looks like he's mowing people down. This full thing here is just so good. This is what I really want to get into, though. I want to get into these trench warfares because this, this is going to add so much. If this is in the multiplayer, whereas you're playing through, you see, like, the enemy inside their trench, they're sitting there, they're dug in, you gotta rush them because it's a, say, like, rush, or anything like that, and you gotta just charge in, destroy the objectives, take the area, you have limited soldiers, you gotta rush, but they're dug in, they're gonna shoot you down, mow you down as soon as you start coming in, you gotta push and push and try and get in, just intense, like, fights and stuff, oh, it just sounds so fun. Sorry, if you can't tell, I really want to play this game already. This right here is a nice little uh, train, which possibly train battles. I'm assuming most of this is from the campaign. This is probably more campaign trailer. I'm not 100% sure. If any of this is in multiplayer, though, that will be very amazing. And I will love it to pieces. Artillery. Look at all those shells all over the place. Mmm. Just so nice. But look at that. Look at those graphics. Oh, that is just so good. If this is actual game footage, because at the beginning it's in at the beginning it said engine game footage. If it is, that's gonna be so freaking amazing because that is really good graphics right there. Then we move on. We got the Zeppelin or the Blimp, as you would know. And it comes in more than likely armed to the teeth with guns and everything like that. You know, it just ah, oh, it just depicts this fight so well. And then at the end, you see the Xbox logo, EA, that stuff, Battlefield One. I don't know. I think it's awesome. From what I've seen so far, it just looks really good. And it might be because I'm a fan of the Battlefield games, but I think it's honestly a really, really gutsy move to, instead of going to the future warfare, to go back a step. Like, oh, okay, everyone else right now, oh, they want to all go into more futuristic warfare. Nah, nah, we're going to take it back, back to the very be beginning. And if done correctly, I know a lot of people out there are probably going to be like, ah, but... It's old warfare. Can they really make that fun? If they do it correctly, this could be an intense, fun experience. And out of all of the game creators and stuff like that, I honestly believe that they can do it because they've pulled off some pretty good games in the past that are still being played that people just enjoy uh, just tons of it. 
and all that good stuff. Anyway, that will do it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have an amazing day. See you in the next video. Also, if you're new to the channel, I make daily content. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you enjoy it. Comment down below what your thoughts on this are. See you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out. Until next time.